بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ونٹر ٹوینٹی ٹو پیپر کوشچن پیپر ٹوینٹی ٹو کوشچن نمبر تھری پارٹ اے اسٹیٹ واٹ از مین بائی دی سینٹر آف گریوٹی آف این آبجیکٹ سو بائی سینٹر آف گریوٹی وی مین دیٹ پوائنٹ ویئر آل دا آل دی ماس اور آل دی ویٹ ہیز آف این آبجیکٹ از ایکٹنگ آن سو اوور ہیئر وی کین رائٹ پوائنٹ ویئر all the weight of an object is acting so this is pretty simple okay so let's go for part b a uniform beam ab is attached by a frictionless hinge to a vertical wall at end a The beam is held so that it is horizontal by a metal wire CD as shown in figure 3.1. <coughs> okay, so this is th figure 3.1. And there is only one force that is not vertical or horizontal that is the wire. And it is going diagonal. So this means this wire has a force of 45 Newton which is acting in a diagonal form. So we will make two components of this force. One will act. perpendicular to the to the rod and one will act parallel to the rod so the perpendicular one would have the formula of 45 sin 37 and the horizontal one will have the formula of 45 cos 37 okay so let's move ahead The beam is of length 0.96 meter so this whole length is 0.96 meters and we have made the partitions of all over here <coughs> a block of weight w rests on the beam at a distance of 0.2 meter from end b okay the wire exerts a force on the beam of 45 newton at an angle of 35 degree to the horizontal The beam is in equilibrium. So right now we can say that the beam is in equilibrium, which means moments clockwise and moments anti-clockwise are all equal. Forces upward and forces downward are equal. So that's why this is in equilibrium. Calculate the vertical component of the force exerted by the wire on the beam. Vertical component we have already find this one earlier. So we can just we just need to simply calculate the value. That is forty five. sin 37 this is the one that i was talking about earlier so we can easily find the value of it the value is 27.08 newton i can round it off to 27 two single figure figures are enough okay so the next part is by taking moments about a calculate the weight of the block by taking moments about a calculate the moment calculate the weight w of the block okay so whenever whenever you you want to find the value in terms of moment and all these stuff always make sure that for example assume that this is your pencil nib and this is your pencil whenever you apply a force over here it will go like this for example if this here is your pencil over here and this is the nib of the pencil if you apply force over here it will go like this vice versa if you apply force over here this will go on this side so right now just imagine for example hold on <coughs> okay so this force will make it move like this one this will also move it like this this one will make it move anti clockwise so two clockwise moments and one anti clockwise moment so over here this hole was 0.96 meters if i am not wrong divide by 2 is the is the point where this 23 newton force is acting because this is the center of gravity so over here we can simply write 0.23 newton if i'm not wrong sorry 23 newton multiplied by 96 divided by 2 96 divided by 2 makes it 48 
so 0.48 meters this is a clockwise moment another clockwise moment x because of the w w has a length of 0 0.56 plus 0 0.2 that makes 0 0.76 so i can write here w times 0 0.76 is equals to because this was clockwise moment and this is anti clockwise moment now this force that was coming out 27 is 0 0.56 meters away from the hinge a and it will be rotated anti-clockwise so i will write 27 times 0 0.56 if i calculate i can easily find the value of w and in my case the value of w is coming somewhere around 5.4 newton so this is my value of weight 5.4 newton i hope this is clear for everyone now let's move ahead the hinge exerts a force on the beam at end A. So let's see where is the hinge. This is the hinge. Exerts a force on the beam at end A. Calculate the horizontal component of this force. Okay, so there is only one counter of hinge force that is horizontal. That is the wire extension. And the horizontal component of this wire extension is equal to the hinge so whatever the value is coming on the horizontal component of wire would be equal to the value of force that is applied on hinge so that would be 45 cos 37 45 cos 37 the value over here is coming 36 newtons so i have the answer of 36 newtons over here okay so let's go for next part the block is now moved closer to point t on the beam okay so what's happening over here is like this block right now it's it's in between d and b and now it's moving towards d so let me use a different color over here yeah so now it's moving closer to d so if it's if it moves closer towards d now I can say my force that is over here will have less tension because the because this block is coming towards this hinge or you can also say that because this block is coming near the wire. So state whether this change will decrease increase or have no effect on the tension in the wire. So I can simply write that the tension in the wire will decrease because it is coming nearer and now if if the <coughs> sorry if the distance has been decreased hence the force will also decrease let's go for next part that is the stress in the wire is 5.3 exponent 7 pascals that is 5.3 exponent second pascals the wire is now replaced by a second wire that has a radius which is three times greater than that of the original wire so initially the area was pi r square now the area is pi 3 r whole square so now the area is 9 pi r square <coughs> The tension in the wire is unchanged. Calculate the stress in the second wire. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is initially we have this area. We got this stress. Now the area has been increased. If my area is increased, I obviously know that my force and stress will decrease. So simply just if I make the ratio over here area initial or area final it will make pi r square over 9 pi r square all of them is reduced and 1 upon 9 is left so if i multiply this by 1 over 9 
I will get a new value and that value is 5.889 exponent 6 pascals or you can round it off to 5.9 exponent 6 pascals so this is your new stress that will be a reduced stress because right now my area has been increased because of the greater radii so my stress will decrease i hope i've answered all the questions over here correctly so if you still have any queries you can just put a comment in the comment section and inshallah i'll make sure to respond you back thank you very much